My name is Katharina Riebe Salisbury. I'm an archaeologist with a focus on the European Bronze and Iron Ages. I work at the Austrian Academy of Sciences and I currently direct the research group Prehistoric Identities. My ESC funded project is called The Value of Mothers to Society and focuses on the role of women as mothers in prehistory. Ages and abilities emerged from the Society of the Study of Childhood in the Past conference in Vienna in 2018. We compared how different prehistoric and classical societies in Central Europe and the Mediterranean classified the stages of childhood. Our authors use osteological, archaeological and image sources to describe the stages of childhood in their case studies and also their transitions between them. They consider which age classes are archaeologically recognizable, how they were marked with material culture, and whether they were different for girls and boys. Thanks to the generous funding of the ESC, the book is open access and can be downloaded from the ArcheoPress website for free. I would like to highlight the extraordinary geographical coverage of the book. It includes chapters from societies in today's Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Italy, Croatia, Bulgaria, Greece and Spain. Nevertheless, the chapters cross-cut several themes, for example children's inclusion or exclusion at cemeteries, objects associated with childhood, such as feeding vessels and toys, children's access to tools and weapons, and children's agency, rank and social status. The volume accounts for the variability and how a range of chronologically and geographically diverse communities perceived children and childhood, and at the same time it discloses universal trends in child development in the prehistoric past. We have recently started to use proteomic analysis of peptides in dental enamel to determine the sex of buried children, so we are now in a position to study sex-specific mobility and mortality. We can also study diet, childhood treatment and burial practices comparatively for boys and girls. We continue to study childhood in Bronze and Iron Age Central Europe in the framework of my ESC-funded project The Value of Mothers to Society. So watch this space.